two fill layers for unlimited color grading. Let's utilize the amazing Vivid Light Blend Mode to achieve it. I'm going to start with a new document by first copying the current image layer and then using the file New from Clipboard menu. We now have a new document with the image we just copied. Next thing I'm going to do is to add two fill layers by using the layer New Fill Layer menu. Let's hide the top one and select the bottom one in the layers panel. By default it is filled with white. Let's go for a teal orange look. So for the first layer I will select an orange color. The idea is to apply these fill layers in vivid light blend mode. And the current orange will be way too much. We need to move the color closer to grey as grey has no effect in the vivid light blend mode. We get something like this, more of a sand brown color. Time for the teal color. Let's enable the top fill layer and select the teal color close to grey. As mentioned, we are going to apply these two fill layers in vivid light blend mode. So let's select both of them and then choose the vivid light blend mode. Now we're getting somewhere. We have a good base for a teal orange look, but it is a bit too strong. To solve that, first thing I'm going to do is to group these two layers so that we can control the overall strength later. Now, time to change the blend range of these fill layers. The bottom one will gradually increase from the shadows until the midpoint. For the top one, we are going to do the reverse. It will gradually decrease from the midpoint to the highlights. This way, the orange will target the highlights and the teal the shadows. Also for the top layer, I'm going to dim it down a bit by lowering its opacity to 70%. To finish the effect, we can now fine-tune the opacity of the group to get a nice color grade. Mostly a value between 30 and 50% works well. Here is the before, and here is the teal orange look we just created. Pretty awesome! As the basis is now set, you can fine-tune the colors as you see fit. For example, we can modify the orange color. If you want a nice teal orange look, you can use the value 95754F for the bottom fill, and for the teal you can use the value 4F8995. From my experience, this creates a very nice natural looking teal orange look. If needed, you can play with the opacity of the teal fill layer to control its effect and of course you can do the same with the orange fill layer. These fill layers of course can be changed in color to create interesting color grades. For example, let's use a greenish color for the bottom fill. It works best when you use complementary colors, so let's select magenta for the top fill. Have a look at that, just awesome. I would say just experiment with the colors, but keep in mind to use low saturated colors for a natural look. Another color combination could be the red and the cyans. There is a lot of room for experimentation, I will put some color combos in the description for you. Another interesting experiment is to change the order of the fill layers, but also swapping the blend ranges can create interesting results. Let's have a quick look of the presets I have. Here is a nice image to experiment with. Let me turn on the Jet Vanilla group. Pretty nice, isn't it? Or how about the Blue Rust group? As mentioned, I will put the used colors in the description. Finally, here is a more neutral image and let's apply the grades one by one. The teal and the orange, the Jet Vanilla, and finally the Blue Rust. I hope you found this video useful and thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and until the next video.